Hello and welcome to another episode. This is part two of, well, it's more of a continuation of the last episode about my battery degradation over the three years and can you force more energy into the battery by doing a battery precondition whilst the car's sitting on your drive. I showed you how to do that in the previous episode, the link to that is up there. Uh, things to remember when you do do the static precondition, you can't have the charge plug plugged in in any way shape or form so you can't be charging you can't have vehicle to load in if you plug those in that stops battery preconditioning straight away you can't be running utility mode if you try to turn that on that stops battery conditioning straight away in the facelifted model you've got other options i think you can do it straight from the app and the same with the ev3 and probably the ev9 now then um so some pointed out in the comments that if, the, if it's cold enough outside if it's sub-zero or approaching zero when you do a heating precondition it also heats the battery sometimes now i've never experienced this so you, you have to take their word for it but uh, there's quite a lot of people in scandinavian countries who say this so i believe them now i've done nearly a week of testing with and without at various temperatures um temperatures vary between six and kind of ten degrees over the week and I've done without preconditioning and with preconditioning um, with preconditioning at similar temperatures not exactly the same sometimes you can get 500 watts more watt hours more into the battery 500 or so if, if you look at it uh, other times when it's a, a bit colder it's a bit less I think um, but let's just go through the readings and then I'll tot up the average at the end over my three years and then that's the figure I'll use for my degradation over three years. So um, I've included a tab battery degradation on my EV6 recall spreadsheet so I'll put a link to that above so you can look at that and I put actually more data so I've got the pack voltage and I've got the cell voltage difference because Chaz Painter always asked me for it and I've got the cell minimum after the charge temperature and whether or not I'd preheated or not. And I've got calculated percent, percentage loss and I've got the system state of health, which always reads 100% and it still does. And the raw figures and data are there, so you can do what you like with that. I mostly started at a state of charge between 70 and 80% uh, before I preheated and then charged from there. I've probably got those figures as well if you want me to add them into as extra columns uh, but uh, I'll stick with this for now anyway on where are we the 11th we got 72888 at 9 degrees that gives a calculated loss of 1.5 percent on the 13th we also got the very same figure that was that both of these were preheating 72888 so it's weird i get the same figure twice so uh, uh first one was nine degrees and the second was eight degrees on the 14th i got 72318 there was no preheat in there and that gives a calculated loss of 2.27 percent that shows the difference of how much you gain from preheating before you fully charge on the 15th, I got 72874, giving a, um, a loss of 1.52%. On the 16th, I got 72580, and that was without preheating. Um, that gives a calculated loss of 1.92%, so that was uh, 10 degrees. And then the final one I did was another 72874, so I've got two duplicated figures. Uh, one at seven, one at nine, and I've got slightly different pack cell voltages. So the 17th, I got a calculated loss of 1.52%, or oh, that's 98.48 percentage state of health. And over the three years, if you tot all nine figures up, you get um, an average of 72,832 watt hours stored. And that gives you a calculated percentage stage of health of 98.42% and 1.58% loss. 
So that is the figure I'm going for and over the three years. When I get my EV3, I'll be straight on it, measuring it, the initial figure, so I know. Because I wish I'd done this with this, but unfortunately, I don't think it's a thing then. Or I hadn't tweaked it, I could measure it then. But anyway, um, this is what I'll do for the new car. If you've got anything to add to this or you need more data, I've got uh, screen grabs of most of these sessions so I can pull more of the figures out if you want them included. Just let me know in the comments. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.